Hi and welcome to the next tutorial. In today's lesson, we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking handwriting text effect using Adobe After Effects. So anyways guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a new composition, 1920 by 1080 pixels at around about 10 seconds. Once we've done that, we need to import our background image that we've downloaded from Pixels and all we need to do is drag that to the timeline. Then you will need to rename that image just by pressing enter on it and then uh, calling it background. So once we've done that, the first thing that we need to do is we need to add some text on the screen. So go and grab the type tool, change your font to whatever you want. I'm using Sun Valley and then you can change the size to whatever you want as well. Now, now we're going to try and align it. So we need to come over here to the pan behind tool, hold control and double click to make sure that the anchor point is in the center. And then you can use your align tools to make sure that that text is in the center. And if you wanna make it bigger, you can just drag it from the handles on the side. So once we have that, you need to make sure that you select that layer and then you need to come over and grab the pen tool. And this is where you want to create the write on effect. So as you are writing the pen tool, this is how it's going to mimic that handwriting effect. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you draw your pen tool all around the letters as they are going through the entire uh, text. And you want to make sure that when you click and hold for this uh, pen tool, you can see that the handles that come out and you can actually hold control and you can only move one set of handles at a time. So anyways, now you can go through the text and once you're finished all of that text, then we can come over here and we can apply the stroke effect. So just make sure that you apply the stroke effect to the handwriting layer. And once you've done that, then you can come over here and change the stroke color to something a bit more noticeable like red. And then you can change the brush size. And so what you want is you want all parts of that text actually covered. So if there's any parts that are still white, what you need to do is make sure that you click on that layer and then you can go back into the pen tool and then you can add more points and you can actually now cover all or you can move the points to however you need to cover all of that text. So it's very easy to just click and then move the points around. So make sure that all parts of the text are actually covered. And then we'll, we'll worry about dotting the I's and crossing the T's um, in the next step. So once we've done that, we need to click on the paint style and we need to um, set it to reveal original image. And then you can see if I scrub through the end keyframe animation, what you want to do is you want to now um, make sure that when you go through it, there's not too much of the text that actually appears in both sides. So you want to go through and you want to try and, you know, make sure that every letter appears separately. And now once you've done that, then you can set a keyframe animation for the end. And then you can um, move forward in time around about three seconds and then you can set it to zero. And so now what I'm going to do is, if there's any problems, you can go back and you can fix any of those points by just playing around with the pen tool and then, you know, whatever you need to fix, you, need, you can adjust it there. So there we have the handwriting, it's looking pretty cool. So I'm just gonna go into the middle of that and just create another keyframe. Then I'm gonna highlight all the key, keyframes and then I'm going to easy ease them. And once I've done that, then it will look a little bit nicer and smoother as the text is coming along. So the next thing that we have to do is we have to create a new shape layer. So we're going to create a rectangle over and around the text. So all we need to do is grab the rectangle tool, draw a rectangle around the text, change the color to white. And then I'm just going to align that so it's in the middle of the page. And then I'm going to go inside of my rectangle and add trim paths. And then I'm just going to animate the start and end. Now the start point is going to be at zero, but the end point is going to be at five seconds. And so I'm going to do that for both the start and the end. And you will see that now you will have two parts of the rectangle, which kind of go in opposite directions. 
Now you can play around with some of these settings and you can make the animation however you like, but I've just, you know, done it fairly quickly and easily there. The next thing that you need to do is you need to make sure that all keyframes are easy ease and then you can come over here to the graph editor and then you can just, you know, push the two sides in so there's a bit of a peak in the middle so it gives it a little bit more acceleration. Once you're happy with that, then you can uh, move on to the next step. So the next step is to pre-compose all of those aspects for the writing and so I've just called it writing there. Then I'm going to create a new solid and this is going to be my displacement. Once you've created the solid, you need to pre-compose that layer and just call it displacement. And now once you have that pre-composed, you can double click on that and then you can click on that solid and then you can look for the effect called fractal noise. Now there are a few things you want to change in here. You want to change the type to dynamic and you want to change the contrast to about 130 and the brightness to about 15. Then you need to go to evolution options, hold alt and click on random seed and then you need to write time times 12. And once you've done that, if you've done that correctly, it will start to move around. And then what we need to do is we need to come over here and find the displacement map uh, effect and put it onto our writing pre-composition. You need to change the displacement map type to the layer that it's on. And then you need to change the max horizontal displace and the max vertical displace to something about five. And that will give us that jittery text effect. Now, it's looking pretty cool as it is. You can play around with some of these settings, but if the fractal noise is not working, you need to make sure that you uh, pre-compose that displacement um, uh, solid that you made earlier. And then, yeah, that's about it. So once you're happy with your settings, the final thing that we can do is we can just add a simple scale um, effect to the background. So we're going to start it off at 100 and then we will end up at around about uh, 110. So you can either have it zooming in or zooming out. Anyways guys, that's about it for this quick tutorial. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.